Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and in this lecture we are going to discuss about the man page help in shell scripting. So in the previous lecture we have seen about input and output redirections in Unix shell scripting with some simple examples. But this lecture is going to be very short but it will be very useful for your programming journey. So the shell man page help is nothing but a manual for using the Unix shell scripting. So all the Unix command comes with number of options and mandatory options. So we have seen all the commands such as ls command, date command which has some options that you can use which has some specific functionality to it. We have often used the ls command with the hyphen l or a hyphen ltr option for getting the more details about contents of our files. But it is very common to forget the complete syntax of these commands as there are so many commands in the Unix that you can use in your day to day activities. So because no one can possibly remember every Unix command and all its different options. So we have some page which is available to mitigate this right from when the Unix was in its development stage. So it is a very helpful page. So the Unix version of the help files are called as a man pages. So if there is a command name and you're not sure how to use it or what are the different options and functionalities, you can then use these man pages to help you understand about this command. So the syntax is very straightforward. You just have to give man and after that the command. So for this, let's take an example. So suppose there is a command that you want to help with. So assume that you have the command ls, then you can simply need to use the following man command. So just give man and ls. So this command will help you the complete information about this listing or ls command. Let us try one simple example. So for using the man command, it is a very simple syntax. So just give man and the command name that you want more information about. So in this case, we'll use like pwd, which represents the present working directory. So when we hit enter, as you can see, we're getting the whole lot of information for this pwd command. So it has all the different sections, which has the different information about this pwd command. So we can use this for getting the name, description and synopsis and so on. Let us discuss this. We will now practice with some more example, but let me tell you what are the meaning of the different sections in these man commands. So the man pages are generally divided into the different sections. So we generally vary by the man page author of pref. So the following are the different sections for our man page. So the first one is a name which will give you the name of the command. The synopsis will give you the general usage parameters of the commands. And as the name suggests, description will describe what the command will does. The options will describe all the arguments or the options which are available for this command. The C also section will list the other commands that are directly related to the command in the man page or closely resembles its functionality. The bugs will explain any known issues or the bugs that exist in the command or its output. The examples will give you the common usage examples and its idea of how the command can be used in our shell scripts. And the authors will obviously give you the author of the man page, man page or the command. So to sum it up, the man pages are very vital resource and the first avenue of research when you need information about the commands or files in a Unix system, when you're starting your journey in the Unix programming. So let us discuss this with some simple example. So we are already in our pwd man page. So to quit it, just press Q. And after that, we will take the example of a ls command now. So to get that, just use man and ls. Hit enter. And as you can see, this is the man page of for the ls command. So we will now discuss about different sections in this page. So the name will give us the name, which is list directory contents or a listing command we can say. The synopsis will give you the general usage parameters for this command. So as you can see the ls, after that we can give the options such as hyphen l or a hyphen ltr and after that we have to give the file name for which you want to retrieve all the items present into it. The description will have the different information 
of what the command will does so as you can see here are the different options that are present for this ls command so there are so lot of information you can get when you want to help and you are stuck for your solution so after that as you can see the author is present which is written by the richard m stallman and the david mckenzie so these are the author for this man page or we can say the command here is the information about reporting bugs c also will have the different commands that are related to this and so on so this information you can get with the help of man pages so if you want more help you can press h or you can press q when you are done with your information so it is very simple to navigate within this man pages so i hope you understood all about the man pages and how they can be very useful when you are trying out different commands in your script it will be very useful when you are just started and in the beginner stage of the unix programming so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media that i have linked in the description below thanks for watching